Welcome to the Blue Cafe, we bring you stories of faith, love, and devotion. Yeah, just kidding, please help us grow by hitting that like button. Now on to the story. I cheated on my wife three years ago. She agreed to forgive me if we opened the marriage but now I live in agony every day. So basically my wife, 39, found out that I, 41, have been hooking up with a woman I met online who lived two hours away. When the woman visited we checked into a hotel. This went on for three months and we had met a handful of times when my wife caught us. She was waiting in the hotel lobby and saw us coming down from the room. She left me the next day. We separated for eight months and they were terrible on all of us, especially the children, M9, F7 and F3. We started talking about getting back together. My wife thought that since our sex life wasn't enough for me, and that she was sure I would cheat on her again, we might as well open the marriage. I told her no because I've learned my mistake but she wouldn't waver. I relented. We decided she did, not to tell each other the when, where and with whom. Now, over two years later, we are back to normal on the outside. On the inside I'm dying a little each day. Every time I see her happy I wonder if this is just her old bubbly self or if she was thinking of someone. She is a very beautiful woman and I'm sure she has no problems finding men who want her. Whenever she takes a shower after coming home, whenever she rejects my advances I think that she has been with someone and that kills me. I have tried to discuss closing the marriage again but she shuts these attempts very quickly with the divorce card. Before all this happened we had amazing sex several times week but now, we have probably done it four to five times these past three years. She demands I use protection and she refuses to let me eat her or make her come in any way. I stopped asking because the sex is painfully bad now. I haven't slept with anybody else because the look on my wife's face in that lobby still makes me sick with guilt. I don't know how much more I can take. I love my wife and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Will she ever stop punishing me? Have you ever forgiven a cheating spouse and stopped punishing them? What's going on in her head? Had amazing sex four to five times a week you screwed the pooch and now you get no cooch? Well well, if it isn't the consequences of op's own actions. The dildo of consequences rarely comes with any lubrication. This is an amazing comment. Ducked around and found out if ever I saw it. My guy. You did this to your marriage, you said you had an amazing sex life but still cheated. You loved your wife and still cheated. Let her live her life the same way you decided you were going to have an affair. Or leave and let her live her life. She was beautiful and they had amazing sex but he still cheated. He's a piece of shit and deserves feeling like it. I have no mercy for cheaters. And Op says he cheated three years ago and has a three year old. Duck you Op. Cheating on pregnant wife. Tale as old as time SMH. It was over the moment you cheated. And her wanting open marriage means it's 100% over she just doesn't want the divorce legal issues. Update I cheated on my wife three years ago. She agreed to forgive me if we opened the marriage but now I live in agony every day thank you everybody for the reality check. The general consensus that I gathered from the comments, I never thought there will be so many, I'm still reading them is that you believe that my wife doesn't love me anymore. It's probably the truth. She is staying with me for the children and I fully understand her. I love my children too and I want to be in their lives all the time, every day. We have worked so hard for the beautiful life we have and we did it all primarily for the sake of our children. I will not ruin that now for selfish reasons. I have decided to stop hoping slash wanting slash demanding love and forgiveness from her, instead I will accept that I will always live with this guilt. That's only fair. I will enjoy the other aspects of our marriage. Like raising our beautiful children with an amazing person like her and watching them grow up to be the good human beings they are. 
I will always love my wife and I will always regret what I have done but I need to move on too. I'm going to seek help for my mental health and probably start seeing other people too when or if I'm ready. It might be a good idea to broach this with her. Is an open relationship the best thing for your family or should you go your separate ways and co-parent amicably? A marriage without love leaves you open to resentment and that can only be contained for so long. Don't assume that your children won't feel or be aware of this resentment. You're modeling what a romantic relationship looks like to them. It's a big responsibility. Yep. Better to separate instead of living a lie which will make your children emotionally damaged. Yes, often we think that whatever we are doing is for our children's good but we don't realize that those activities are affecting them in such a way that is going to have an effect for their entire life. I went along with a loveless marriage for several months for the kids. Now that I finally got my guts to divorce her, we're better parents and friends separately than we were together. We even live in the same apartment complex for now so the kids can walk back and forth as needed. Far healthier for the kids to see. Example, just recently I mentioned to my dad that their divorce 30 years ago when I was 5 never bothered me. I was happy they broke up because I was miserable from them fighting and all this tension all the time, and when they broke up it was peace. My dad paused, and said oh. Then he asked if I wanted to know what they were fighting about and I said yes. He said they were fighting because he didn't want to get divorced, he thought it would be bad for me. And 30 years later he learns it was the fighting that was bad for me. We laughed about how life sucks that way. But I bet that's gonna haunt him now. This. Because one day they'll grow up and if they are seeing other people and any of them is caught by their children, it'll cause unnecessary pain and drama. They are a broken marriage, they should come clean to the kids now and if they do want to be with their kids 100% of the time, they can live all together till they think it's time to move on, but without the false pretense of being a happy family when they're not. If Op and his wife want to go this route, they could consider a duplex or some other arrangement that lets them live separately but in the same building. Yes but mainly they need to understand that the best for the kids is a healthy co-parent and not growing up in the middle of this open slash broken marriage. They are not thinking about the actual best for their children, it's the idea of kids needing parents to be together regardless of how they feel. Kids need love and stability, it's irrelevant if they are married or divorced as long as parents can put them first over any disagreement with their ex. We hope that by sharing these stories with interested folks like you, we can help people recognize the signs of a relationship in trouble, and avoid so many of these heartbreaking situations yourselves. Have a good day or night. Wherever you are, 